Okay, so here's how fast guy looks even. But I'll just say, like, uh, we'll talk a little bit about clearing ties. Um, you know, clearing if he gets my underhook or gets me in a two on one. But if a guy grabs my wrist, I'm my lead, and I'm a lefty, so a lot of guys do, this is when I'm hitting this. So I don't have to even grab. A lot of kids think, oh, I have to have the control. But if he grabs my wrist and I'm doing this, who's getting who out of position? Who's moving? No, he's holding on to me, but I'm still able to control him just by putting weight on him. So if he grabs me like this, I do the exact same move. I Sometimes I'll, I'll grab and go right, into the, go right into it. But then if he grabs me, I can still do the same exact move. So just recognizing that. The only, the only thing difference is I gotta get him stepping towards me. So all I do is I go thumb down and have him step towards me. Cool. Now it's exactly the same move. The beauty of this is guys, they don't feel it coming because they feel I, I got a hold of them. So this was definitely one of my, this is probably my top single setup. Yeah. And we forget, everybody's gonna grab my wrist, boom, thumb down. Thumb this down. concept of thumb down is super important for clearing wrists. A lot of kids don't get it. You've got to feel it. If he tries to rotate towards my hand, I got a lot of hands. It's gonna be hard for him. If he turns his thumb down, he's going to against my thumb. I'm not gonna be able to hold his wrist with my thumb. It's always rotating into the thumb. Yeah, he can give me a step with it. And then watch his watch his just shoulders. When I do this, I'm pulling it down. I'm pulling him out of position just by by rotating my thumb down. I feel that foot come in. All I'm doing is that little modified drag right to my single. This is a single. Not an arm drag. Yeah. You got wrestlers that aren't going to engage. Maybe they're coach. Maybe they're trying not to get majored. Trying to save themselves a team. I can't get their wrists. I can't get their hands. Whistle goes. They're trying to get a hold of them. You go like this. Okay. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the people are going to grab your wrist. Okay. Now, if you don't believe me, at the break, go to Starbucks. Walk up to one of the people who's not a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when the cops come, call Craig Hans and come get you. Okay. So I'm going here, waiting for a reaction. He grabs that hand, I rotate. Boom! I got my single. He grabs with the other hand. Boom! I got my high cross from last night. Okay. It's a Starbucks setup. Okay. So we're waiting for him to grab our wrist. We're baiting him. All right. Make sense? Okay, next position we call Fazaya in Canada. Talking about Fazaya yesterday, perhaps the greatest wrestler of all time, biggest upset in the history of wrestling, maybe. Happened at Heck Edmund Pavilion where I said you guy beat him. Okay? He did almost all of his stuff. I think he was two-time Olympic champ, six-time world champ from one position. So we called it Fazaya. He's had a tricep tie here and a wrist tie. An upside down wrist tie where his thumb is down. Always. Okay, it's going to be an odd concept for some kids that might not be able to do it, so they might end up doing it from here. The reason I go, he goes thumb down is because where does Matt rotate to clear his arm? Yeah, look at that. If I go here, where does he have to rotate? Okay, see the difference? That's the difference of this and this. Okay? It's like a crazy rule. <laughs> Or pour the beer. Yeah. Pouring it down. Right? I got it down. I got my thumb down. Now he's got a when he clears his wrist, he creates an opening. There's his leg. I go here, he clears his wrist, he's down blocking. So it's a baby difference, but it's it's uh, it's a world of difference right there. So we're going to this position right here. I go here and I pull. He goes to clear his wrist. I got outside single right there. Okay, obviously I've also got a high crotch here. And the dive with the master of the series where he did this. Whatever it's called, outside carry, inside carry, outside carry. That was his series. So that's just a tricep control with a down, 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 downward, up, uh, downward thumb on the wrist. Right here. You can and the key, he just said it. I don't know if you heard, but the key is you got to get your opponent moving. And if you see your kids in drilling, and they're all, all of them just do this. They just want to do one, one step. Boom! Is you gotta get you gotta get comfortable in here. Is moving here, kind of going into it. There, that's real wrestling. This never happens. No. So you gotta just tell them you don't don't have to be in a huge hurry when you're drilling. Do a good three setups, three steps before into that shot. Good, good. Good. Head tie. Talked about yesterday. Guy grabs my head. Right away, I make my neck short. Right? You got a lot of guys, a lot of guys look like wrestlers, right? I was style guys, they got no neck anyway, so it's easy for them. But if you got a long neck, you got to make it short. Make it short. Our coach is saying you want to wrestle with the wrinkles on the back of your neck, okay? You got to make the we are happy with so fat, he had wrinkles anyway. 
You look like you had six hot dogs back there. <laughs> but uh, now I'm hungry. Okay, so it's like this, I'm short. Make my neck short and I circle. So I, I, I pinch here, but I circle. Like Matt said, uh, Matt said yesterday, he was so good at teaching this. Uh, everything he's doing, he's, he's moving his feet. He's creating everything with his feet. So I can't, just, I try to clear my head like this. He's going to Jordan Burroughs me. <laughs> I can't get it out of my mind. Okay. Anyway, right? That's All right. So I'm going to pinch that off right there. I'm pinching it off, and then as I pinch it off, I'm just taking my two on one. Okay, we're going to a two on one series later on today and just show like five or six things from there. But as I take this two on one right here, there comes my leg. Okay? So I, but I, people want to try to take a two on one and a guy has your head. Not going to work. I got to almost clear him here. I'm almost clearing him with no hands. So I should do a no hand door every time the guy grabs my hand. I bump him off. This is the same drill we did yesterday. Yeah. Remember the neck? Yeah. You're just getting that neck curled and moving your feet. It's the same thing. That would be clear, too. It forces me to come back in. Two on one. All right. Good. I don't Underhook? Underhook? Yeah. He's better at this one than me. My underhook single is a, is a little different than his. So, you know, it's more teachable. Underhook series, we'll, we'll go into the whole series, but just if I'm going to, the time for me to hit my single, just as a throw by, underhook throw by right to my single, is right when I get the underhook. So, especially you start teaching it, they got to get in here, kind of get comfortable, but the, the best time to do it is I get my underhook, boom, I throw right into it. It's almost like a continuation. As I dig, I'm throwing. And all it is, I call it a shot put single. So you've seen that shot put motion. I'm just trying to get, when I throw it, I got to make sure I throw his body backwards. It's the same concept of if I try and throw him up, it's going to be hard. That's a lot of weight. But if I just, I, so I got to throw him that way. For me to do it, for me to do my shot put at the same time, I'm stepping. Boom, boom. One foot in front, one foot behind. So I shot put as I step. Boom. I make his body go backwards. If his body's going backwards, this foot's coming up to me. I don't necessarily go down and get it. This hand is going down, but I'm not reaching over and picking it up. I don't know if that. Um, the biggest problem with kids is they're going to clear here, like this, get going, and then they're going to try to pull the light to them. Matt's not doing that at all. As soon as I move, I feel Matt right here. He's pushing me with his head, his shoulders, his body. He's still in the space. So yeah, I go, put my chest right into it. The other big thing I see when I teach this is a lot of kids want to try this. They go here, and then they stay right there. They stay up high. I punch high, and I get that back hand. I punch, boom, that's how it looks. So without a partner, all it is is a punch. I'm, both hands are stepping. It's almost kind of like a, like a puppet coordinated. So I throw, step, there. So the, key, the key is, yeah, now I know how I felt when I was getting coached, okay? So, um, One thing I can say right now, because I'm in a college room, and I do drill now and now with my guys, and this is, this is a real eye-opener for me, because for, from feel, just having him do the moves to me, everything Matt does, I can feel his chest, chest on me, and he's just knocking me over, like, there is no space whatsoever. I'm not afraid to There's that stance, he's in his stance, right there, back is straight, head is up. If I move away, he's in a wrestling stance. So I gotta get, I gotta close that gap. I, I basically run at the guy here into my into my single. High level, good, really good for heavyweights. Okay. Um, yesterday we did the head on the shoulder. Remember for the high crotch? I call. What do you call it? I go here, head on the shoulder. You got a different name for it? I call it Sanderson motion. Sanderson motion. The Oh yeah. Now. <laughs> Sanderson. Yeah. All right. Anyways. So I'm coming here, my primary move here is to watch him release and I'm going to hit a high crotch like yesterday. Or if he doesn't give me a fight I want, I'm going to clear it and I'm going to take high crotch. But if he, I'm going to come back up here, go to the tricep. See right there that leg come? That, I hear that thump, that's good, that means weight's on the blade. So I'm going to come off the head, back to the tricep and circle. Okay, and this is the one time, I'm very disciplined about the way I wrestle and teach. I usually almost, because right hand is my, my premier hand. That's usually going to be my attack hand, but here, because my, my attack hand is really pulling down, I'm coming inside, and then secure. Okay? So, it's, it's, yeah, this is the exact yeah. same. So because that hand's coming to my tricep, his free hand is the one doing the shot. And right away, it's secure. Yeah. All right, good. Any questions about the setups there?
And just back to yesterday, if anyone remembers what the two, two uh, premier most used setups at the World Championships were again? Smash and go and fake and go. Which is, uh, was kind of surprising to me, but now I think what I watch almost every match, there's some really good athletes. A lot of those smash and go and uh, tap and go are set up. Because that guy's hand fighting so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad, he comes up too high. Boom, hit him go. Right? But in match, I hit hard enough to see them. Anything on that for the single? Anything more to add? Yeah. No, just that uh, hand fighting, just any kind of uh, slowing it down and doing some kind of a flow drill. Where I work, especially when I, this is the way I start almost every game is I go nice knee knee here, I pull on them here, tap, go, here, push, pull, here, haven't even shot yet, but getting guys ready to ready to move into the shot. Because too much drilling, in my opinion, especially the high school happen, or especially at the high school level, is this. Okay? Instead of move, 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 shot. So just kind of emphasizing that three, three, four movements before they're shot when they're drilling. And back to the question we had last night about the guy's arms getting tired. If you're drilling like this all the time, it's a natural position for you. You're relaxed. The person getting tired is that guy who's moving. He's the one getting tired, right? So, click on my foot. It's yeah. illegal. Well, you're going like it's 1999 here. Are you kidding? <laughs> 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 oh, that's the way it is. The ones we got them both down, we got to work them together. If they don't work together, there's only a certain level you're going to get to. So, we're going to come on that time, we're going to fake the single, we're going to come to a high crotch. Okay? We're going to fake the high crotch. We're going to come to the single. Okay? And we talk, I talked about yesterday about things that Mike Jones says. Maybe I'll publish a book after the name book that says things that Mike Jones says. They're all the most simple things you're ever going to hear, but they make sense. And one of the things is it's not a fake. Unless I could have scored with it. Right? So if I'm going like this to Matt, he's not going to react. He's not going to react to that. He's going to react to this. Because if he doesn't pull it back, I'm coming. So I'm coming at it, he pulls it back. I take the other leg. And if you notice, I'm going forward the whole time. 